Hello and welcome to Woven Coffee's fantastic new training room and tasting room here in Bristol. Today I will be demystifying on-demand grinders for you. Firstly, we'll be learning how to assess what basket size you have for your machine if you don't have the luxury of it written on the side. Then we'll be learning how to adjust the grind. Then we'll be learning how to adjust the drop. So by the end of this video, you will be able to calibrate your machine and grinder perfectly together. You will need a set of scales for your group handle, a piece of levelling plastic or metal to level the group top, a five pence piece, a tamper, a tamp mat, and a set of scales to measure your brew shots. Before we put any coffee into the basket, let's look at grind size and what we call the finesse. So a general rule of thumb for getting in the right ballpark is to grind the coffee into your hand, like so, squeeze it and let go. If the coffee holds together but starts to fall apart with cracks, as you can see, you know you're in the right area for grind size. If you were to clasp your hand together and let go and it was to just fall instantly apart like gravel, you know that would be too coarse. And if it was to clump together very tightly, like corn flour almost, you know that would be too fine. So that's a really good indication of getting in the right area for grind size before we check anything. So we're going to take your handle and we're going to grind some coffee and we're going to overfill comfortably into the basket. Now, at this stage we need to level the basket. Please don't be tempted to tap because that won't give us a concise reading. We're going to use our levelling piece of plastic or metal and we're going to go north, south, east, west. And we're going to repeat that process once more. North, south, east, west. Once you've done that process, feel free then to wipe off the excess. That will show you that you have a much more even distribution of ground coffee throughout your basket. If you were just to scrape off the excess, you would actually push down some of that ground coffee to the back of the basket, which in turn would give you an uneven extraction. And now we're going to give it two good taps. One, two. A nice straight tamp. Now this is where the 5P comes in. Place it to the right or the left hand side of the centre of the basket. Lock it in from the left to the right and then take it immediately back off. What we are looking for is for the coin to make what we would call a watermark on the coffee. You can see the indentation is fairly deep but it's not all the way down so let's, let's reduce the finesse a little bit more so let's go finer. Grab the adjustment ring to the right, turn to the grinder plates closer together which makes it a finer grinder like so and if we turn it to the left it's turning it to a coarser setting, which is going to make the grind size larger, like so. So we're going to go finer to here, and we're going to purge out any of the coffee that might be left from before. Now we repeat the process again. Perfect. We well, can see the coin has not been pressed in, but if we shake it, it has a very, very faint watermark underneath. It's all about the headspace. If you don't give coffee a chance to swell, you won't get a good extraction. Now we've used the 5P technique to work out what is the best amount of coffee for our basket, we now need to measure that quantity. So we then know for the next stage about calibrating what our constant weight is in the basket every single shot. We tear our scales. We're going to repeat the process as we just did. And now we're going to check our weight. 18.5 grams. I will remember that number. So no matter what we do now, Everything for this basket, and in your case, whatever weight that you discover, must be the same. It's all about consistency. Now we're going to make a coffee. We're going to use the brew ratio two to one. What that means is whatever I put in here is a dry weight. As a rule of thumb, I want to have double that weight out wet. For the sake of arguing, I want that to come out at 30 seconds. This is going to give me a rough benchmark when I'm extracting. It goes without saying we're pre-infusing. Where you set your extraction is completely up to you. My rule of thumb 
is anything between 7 and 11 seconds to actually see it pour through after pre-infusion. The extraction was too slow, so what we're going to do is we're going to loosen up the grind. We're still looking for 18.5 grams of coffee, but we want the extraction to be a bit faster. And I will keep repeating this process until we get my extraction time perfect. Now that we know that the grind is correct, and we've established how much coffee the basket we have, the last stage that we need to do is to set the amount of coffee that the grinder gives me every time I ask it to grind. Otherwise known as the throw or the drop. I'm going to press the double espresso button, I'm going to see what it gives me and weigh that amount. Then I'm going to make the judgement on whether or not I have to increase or decrease the amount of time I grind for. The grinder is giving me 18 grams of coffee. I only need to increase to 18.5 grams. I'm going to only take it up a tiny little notch in time. So I'm going to hold the menu button. Then four lines will flash up. I will pre-select the one I want to adjust. In this case, it's the double. And I'm going to increase one increment of time. I'm going to hold menu to lock that in. And I will check. So, there we have it. We have found the perfect weight for the basket. We have found the perfect finesse. We have extracted perfectly. The brew ratio is good. And finally, we've adjusted the drop on the grinder. Throughout the day, as humidity levels change, heat changes, fresh bags go in, you will notice the amount of coffee you will get will differ, which will then affect the extraction time. If, when you grind the coffee, you are getting too much, assume your coffee is too coarse. So before you touch time, adjust it finer, small increments of time until you come within your weight that you're looking for, and vice versa. And that is how you set up your on-demand grinder.